I will calculate the volume between two DEM layers. This is my example DEM with an edge length of 5 meter. The point distance is 0.5 meter. In my first example, my ground layer has a uniform altitude of 10 meter. My ramp layer is made out of four points or rectangles and every point has a different altitude. The altitude increases from 12 to 15 meters. To calculate the volume, click on raster and raster calculator. Type in an open bracket and then the ramp layer minus the ground layer. Close the bracket and multiply it by the point distance. Choose the folder to save the file. In the new DEM the volume of each rectangle is stored. To summarize each volume I use the zonal statistic tool. Click on the wheel and search for zonal. Choose your extent, in my case it's the border layer and the right raster layer. I leave the prefix for the new layer like this. I change the statistics to sum. All others are not relevant for me. Open the attribute table to see the volume. If your ground layer has a uniform altitude, there is a second way to calculate the volume. Open the toolbox and search for volume. I will use the tool raster surface volume. Here you have to choose the ramp layer, a uniform base level and the method. You will get the result as a HTML file. If your ground layer does not have a uniform altitude, you can't use the raster surface volume. In the second example, my ground layer have different altitudes under the ramp, from 0 until 14 meters. I didn't change the ramp layer. We can proceed like in the first example. Open the raster calculator, watch the brackets and all characters. After the calculation, execute the zonal statistic tool. The volume is stored in the new vector layer. I calculated it by hand in an Excel sheet and the results are the same.